Hi everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome and welcome back to Angela's Fashion Mix. I hope you've had a fantastic day and if you are new, welcome to the channel. This is where I talk about fashion and how to enjoy those things that we bring home and put in our closets. Today I'm talking about one of my favorite things with regard to what's in the closet and that is handbags. I've mentioned in the past that I was trying to not have competition with my shoes, but it is growing. So it has grown to the point that it now encompasses storage in a couple of different places, but it's all in here. Today I'm talking about a bag I recently received from Teddy Blake. You may or have heard of Teddy Blake before. I have one already that I absolutely love. You've seen it several times. So they've reached out and asked if I would share some of what is part of the spring collection. And that is where I made my handbag selection from. A little bit smaller than what I have a lot of but because of that was why I chose this size and it is going to meet some needs in a space that I sometimes need to fill so that's why I made this selection. If you're not familiar Teddy Blake was founded in 2016 and is headquartered in New York. So I thought I'd share my opening of the box with you and the box of course comes in the mailing box but what I liked about the presentation is that the bubble wrap was there and also the bag is already in the drawstring bag. I thought that was really nice. A lot of times they come and the bag is folded and it's just kind of in the box. But this gave it more of a presentation and I like that. And I'm really liking this color. And I think the size is going to work out really nice. Inscribed on the inside of the lid it's from Teddy Blake. Designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. So before I show you the bag, I want to share the box. I really do like the box. And because it is so very heavy and sturdy, it is a solidly constructed box. And of course it can be used beyond and I won't be storing the bag in the box. So I could find other options to use this size box. So I love the construction of it and it has a magnetic closure. So it's going to be pretty secure once you put something in it. It's a very nice box and too nice to throw away. So as I've done the other, I will be using this box ongoing. So let's meet my bag. This is the Ava Gold in Cream. It's the 11 inch and leans more toward what I would consider a medium sized bag. And it has the pebble grain leather, which is really nice. And Teddy Blake has a lot of collections. The inside of those collections, there are lots of color options as well as different sizes. So this particular style comes in a larger size and there are neutral colors as well as a lot of color options. So the hardware is gold. I do like that. And with this particular color for this time of year, especially it is a great color option, but also will carry throughout the entire year. I do like that it has feet and there is a zippered pocket here on the back pretty deep pocket. It goes all the way down to the bottom. The other thing I like about this particular brand with regard to branding is that the branding is subtle. It is here. It says Teddy Blake New York there on the bottom and it is also on the back but it is not in your face and I do like that part of the branding. So with regard to the opening these just lift up here pretty easily and this part lifts up there is a zipper compartment as well as a pocket here in the back and the inside feels like suede it feels really nice and it is a roomy bag even for an 11 inch size it's still a good size bag and it comes with a strap and the strap is adjustable and the lock detail, we can add this to the outside of the bag with that. So we'll do that. I'm going to show you this at the end. 
but this is the strap, adjustable, and also, of course, in gold. And I haven't taken my tags off just yet. I will do that right before I get it to the shelf and a close-up of the bag. So again, very roomy. So to help me decide on the size of the bag, I just measured from another bag that I have to try to determine what the 11 inch was gonna give me. And I'm not disappointed in that. It is smaller, but in a medium sized bag, I think this is a very roomy bag. And what I do also like about the interior is that it does not have a lining that moves around because the interior is one piece. I think that gives a cleaner feel. I like how sleek and chic the bag is. That is one of the goals of Teddy Blake is to create a bag that is relevant to right now, which this is, not so much in terms of season, but in terms of where we are in time. But I think this will transition easily into a timeless classic kind of style and still be very relevant for years to come. I'm expecting to have this for a very long time. But actually, because this is my second bag and I've had an opportunity to experience what Teddy Blake is, I do think the construction of these bags is top tier. And because they use Italian artisans to craft these bags, I think that really does show up in the construction here. So I don't think they're slacking at all with regard to what this presentation is. I'm going to love this color. So oh, this is nice for every day. It's nice for Sunday. It's nice for evening. And because of the size and the top handle, I think it's just going to be a great carry. With the strap, another way to wear the bag. Additional detail. The Teddy Blake name is inscribed there on the hardware. It also says Teddy Blake there on the little lock. So let's take a look at the bag standing and I'm going to add the strap so that you can see that as well. Now I'm 5'7". It would fall just at the top of my hip. This is how this is looking. And as you can see, a great size with regard to my height. So I think this is a great complement in the 11 inch. And again, this is called the Ava Gold. So to add the detachable strap, it just hooks on to the top here. And this is how it looks with the strap. And if you wanted to wear it as a crossbody, you could definitely do that as well. So a lot of flexibility with this particular size. So you have some options. So I think we all know that luxury handbags are very expensive. So in order to bring customers a lower priced option in the luxury brand space, Teddy Blake has cut out the middleman and pass those savings on to the customer. So if you wanna take a look through the website and take a closer look at the Avra Gold in the 11 inch, as well as a multitude of other color options, feel free to click on the link in the description box. There is a code here that you can use that will give you $30 off your purchase. And that will also be pinned in my comments. So also Teddy Blake does ship worldwide. It's coming out of New York, and I think it came in about seven days. So I was a little surprised when I opened the box, but it does ship pretty quickly. And you can also follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Teddy Blake, Ava Gold in the 11 inch. So that's my new bag. Moving on, a couple of months ago, I mentioned to you all some ways to live your best life. And lo and behold, about a week ago, I was looking through something on social. I, I don't remember what platform, but I came across something that I want to pass along to you in reference to my prior video. And this advice comes from a doctor. You may hear some similarities. I gave you some things just based on my own personal self-care, best life, things that we can do outside of nails, hair, the shopping. We all enjoy that. Those are just a few things that we can do to enhance and take better care of us. So I want to pass this information along to you. This is called Doctor's Advice to All Women in 2024. 
A doctor decided to give some advice to ladies. The advice is simple and clear. And he was asking that we share it with every woman out there so everyone can get healthier and better in 2024. Number one, you cannot complete all household chores in one day. Those who did are gravely ill and some have already been buried. Number two, please make time to rest. There's no sin in sitting down, putting your legs up on the table, and popping popcorn while reading a book or just relaxing. Number three, please sleep if you need to. That headache will go away. Does that sound familiar? I suggested taking a nap if you can get it in, when you can get it in, just to relax ourselves, just to, because we're busy people. We, we got stuff to do, but to just take a little break, just rest your eyes. If you can't get in a nap, if you need to go to the car at lunchtime and just sit and rest your eyes, don't go to sleep. But that can help us just kind of recenter and get through the rest of our days. I have done that so many times, so many times. Number four, stop taking sedatives to sleep. You destroy your brain and organs. At some point, you start forgetting things. Relax the brain, worry less, think less, smile more. Everything passes with time. Number five, sometimes quietly sit outside alone, do nothing say nothing, just admire God's handiwork, breathe fresh air calmly, do not hurry. Number six, stand by your mirror, smile at yourself, dance, sing, that will create a positive aura around you so you can glow. Number seven, buy yourself a snack or two or drink if you choose. Just do something for yourself so you unload things in your head. Number eight, buy the necessary gadgets for your home to ease your work and avoid stress. Stress is the biggest silent killer of women. Number nine, if you don't feel well, say so. Do something about it. Go to a health center hospital or call a nurse nearby. Don't sit still. Your life matters. Check your blood pressure and sugar levels occasionally, whether you are sick or not. It has saved many women in the past. Trust me in this. Ladies, this is a reminder for all of us. We are important and should take care of ourselves. And I will back up to the latter part of number nine on that. Your life matters. I hope that somewhere in there, you all found something to connect to that's going to help you day to day. To just kind of calm things down where you can. There is so much going on in our lives. A lot of it's work. Some of it's home. It can be children, it's grandkids, it's friends, it's neighbors, it's church, it's all these things. But at some point, we do have to just sit and be calm. And we might have to force it. But if it's about saving our lives and making our life better, we've got to do those things. So I hope that helps. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe, like, and share the video. I always appreciate you all's time here. Thank you so very much. And I will look forward to seeing you all in the next video. We will see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. here for part two of our live in the closet.